Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about using the distance formula. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So where does the distance formula really come from? Well, we've heard of, hopefully before, the Pythagorean theorem. The a squared plus b squared is equal to good old c squared. Okay? And that's our Pythagorean theorem, and it's with right triangles. Well, if you look at our Cartesian plane here, we can see the distance between two points all right, can be really shaped as the Pythagorean theorem, a right triangle there. We have our a value, our b value, right? So our a value, the distance on the x-axis, our b value, the distance from the y on the y-axis, or the y values difference, and then our c value is going to be the hypotenuse of that right triangle there, okay? And what we're going to do, we can use that and adapt that formula, as you can see, to get the distance formula itself. So with our values there, we have, well, if we say take the square root of both sides here, we can get, um, really, c is equal to a squared, square root of a squared plus b squared, okay? And then with a being the difference between x and y, or sorry, the two x values, so if a is the difference between x or is x2 minus x1 and b is equal to the difference between y2 minus y1. We kind of plug that in here and our c value being the distance between the points, so we call that d now, is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared, there's the a value, plus y2 minus y1 square, and that's the b value. And there is our distance formula. So in nice terms, the distance formula is defined as such. Given endpoints x1, y1, and x2, y2, the distance between two points is given by this. d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So let's go with an example here of using the distance formula. We have two points, negative 3, comma, negative 1, and the other point is 2, comma, 3, and we want to find the distance between these two points here, okay? So let's use our distance formula. We have our first point, let's call this um, x1, and this one's y1, and here we have x2 and y2. And in the beginning, it really makes it easier and helps students a lot. Just label them really quickly. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay? So let's use our formula. It's a really plug and play here. d equals the distance, the square root of, <coughs> right here, x2, which is 2, minus x1, negative 3, squared, plus, now we have y2, y2, which is 3, minus y1, which is a negative 1. Square, okay? And if you want to put extra parentheses in there, you can. Just make sure you know the two negatives make a positive. So plus positive here, and then plus positive. So we simplify this. Let's take our time. 2 plus 3 is 5 squared, plus 3 plus 1 is 4 squared. Now we're going to simplify this even more. D equals the square root. 5 squared is 25, plus 4 squared is 16. You add them together. And we get 25 plus 16 is 41. And we're actually done here. We can't simplify this really anymore without getting a decimal. So our final distance here is the distance equals the square root of 41. And that's the distance between these two points. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com